When you reach a certain age, functions such as sight, hearing, and memory begin to fade. This video is one of several I have created to help senior citizens use their computers to make up for these shortcomings. My name is Richard Spring, also known as the Senior Wizard. I hope this video will help you make your life a little easier. The name of this video is How to Make Your Cursor Bigger. I'll show you how to make your cursor bigger, how to change the color of it, how to make your icons bigger, how to make your text bigger. This will help those tired senior eyes to see better. Okay, on your Microsoft Windows 10 computer, go down in the taskbar, and on the far right hand side under notifications, click on that button. Check out my recent video on taskbars to see more information about it. Okay, t click on all settings. It opens it up. And then over on the right hand side, find ease of access button. Go ahead and click on that. Now, under ease of access, you have lots of options. And let's start out by looking at under the fonts. For those of you that aren't sure what a font is, font is the type style and the size of the type. You have a slider down here, and you can go from small to big. Look at the sample text up there. It's getting larger as I slide it right, and slide it back down again to the normal setting. Now, going further on down in our settings, there's a place called Make Everything Larger. Now, you drop down arrow here. And you can go from 100 to 125, 150 to 175 percent. Let's go ahead and click on 175 percent and see what happens. And everything is speaking. Let's check the desktop and go back there. You look at the icons in the upper left hand corner, they're actually much bigger than before. Okay, let's go back to the settings again. And it 125 was recommended, so we'll go back to 125, and then everything goes back down. Now, 125% is what they recommend, but you can set it for whatever is good for your particular eyesight. And we're looking for another item here. It's a little hard to find. Uh, let's see if we can locate it. It's a little tricky. It's, well, it's right underneath the the make everything bigger drop down it's called change the size and color of your cursor and your mouse pointer they don't make it very plain to see but here we are now there's a slider here as you can slide and the cursor should get larger and larger and larger but for some reason my video capture software doesn't show it so i took a photograph of the cursor getting larger to show you what it looks like and I'm going to show you the and show you the picture again when I bring it up to maximum size and that's what the cursor looks like at maximum size I don't know why the video capture software didn't show that we'll reset the size of my slider down to about 40 or 45 percent now, if you look closely, you can change the pointer color from white to black to black and white, which changes as you go across your screen. Also, color. You can change your cursor to your color. It brings up a preset number of different colors, and then you have additional colors you can pick down below. You click on that, and you have a rainbow, and you just hover over any particular color, and you click on it. And we'll try dark blue up here in the upper right hand corner of the blue and then we'll go down and hit done now your cursor is a blue color and once again i had to take a photograph of it because my capture software didn't work but i had a large blue cursor now let's go back down to the color and we're going to click on it again and we're going to choose a red color and this is a capture picture of what a large red cursor. Very good for people with limited vision. 
Let's go back up to the slider and move it down to about 40-45% to show you what I would have as far as the cursor is concerned, even in a red color. Okay, now let's go on from here to talk about resizing the icons on your desktop. These two icons I have on the upper left hand corner. If you'd like to resize them, here's a quick keyboard shortcut that might help you. On your keyboard, hold on the control key, and on your mouse center wheel, push it forward. As you do, the icons get larger. Hold the control key down and pull the wheel towards you, and the icons get smaller. You can adjust them up and down to fit your needs. Now here's another method of making your icons larger or smaller. On your desktop, right mouse click. Click on View to open up a submenu, and you have large icons. Click on that, and the icons get large. Right mouse click, View, Medium Icons. Right mouse click, View. This time, go down to the bottom and unclick the Show Desktop Icons, and your icons disappear. This will give you an uncluttered desktop. If you want the back view, you go down and click on Show Desktop Icons, and they're back. Now let's go on to one more area where it's usually so small you can't read it. If you have a folder with a bunch of files inside of it, and you open it up, it's very hard to see. Now, if you go up in the menu bar, hit on View, click on View, and it drops down some options. And right now, these individual files are being shown in the detail mode. If you take and move your cursor over the next one to the left, it's list, content, on content first, and go back up into view, and go up to list. And as you keep moving your cursor back and forth, you get to hit the view, and you can see the various options you have for viewing your files. Here's small icon. And this is your medium icons. And we go back up and view again. And we can click on large icons. And they're a little bit easier to see. And you can read them. You can tell what the files are. And then finally we go up in extra large, and that's for when you really want to get down and see it. It takes a little more real estate to go through all of them, but you can definitely read what's on your screen. Now when you have folders with a whole bunch of files in them, and you want to find a particular file that you're looking for, this is a quick way of getting it large enough so you can actually see what they are. I hope this video has helped you. Learn how to make your cursor larger, how to change the color of it, increase the text size, make your icons in your desktop smaller, larger, and even make them disappear. And also in your folders, the files you have in there to change the size and shape so you can see what they are. Check out my library of videos that help seniors help themselves use their computers. Thank you for watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe. My YouTube channel is free. Enjoy this video? Click on the like button below. Leave a comment below to help me improve or tell me what you'd like to see me in a future video. Remember, our generation invented the shake, rattle, and roll. Bye for now.